George, and in this Coral Fish Trilogy video, I'm going to be continuing the topic from my last video on water for reef aquariums. In my last video, I talked about why having zero TADS water is so important and the benefits of RODI water. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the basics for beginners on how to make RODI water using an RODI system. This will include what is an RODI system, how does it work, and what are the major benefits. I know how extremely confusing they seem if you haven't used them before, so I will run you through everything about them featuring Mark Levinson's 100 gallon per day unit from Malzareefs.com. What does a RODI unit do? It's a three to five stage all-in-one filter that purifies tap water sources and makes zero TDS water. These types of filters remove nitrate, phosphate, and other chemical elements found in tap water that can lead to algae blooms and other problems in your aquariums. If you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, go see my last video. The most common question is, why do I need a RODI unit? I've been buying it from my local fish store and my tank isn't even that big. Well, these are the reasons that I believe having a RODI unit is so, so important. First, quality assurance. When you have your own RODI system, you're in control of changing the filters and making sure that it's always coming out as zero TDS water. When you have your own RODI unit, you're also going to naturally find yourself doing more water changes which will improve your tank's water quality anyway. The second thing is convenience. I know for me as a teenager, I don't have a car and before this year I couldn't even drive. So it was always a struggle trying to get a ride to the local fish store just for water. For most other people though, this is a huge factor too. Believe me, you're going to appreciate being able to make as much perfect water as you need without leaving the house. When that uh, next disaster strikes in the middle of the night, you're going to be ready and you're going to have water. Finally, it saves you money. I usually pay 10 bucks for five gallons of RODI water at my local fish store. That's twice a month, so 10 bucks times 24 months is $240 a year. A RODI unit usually pays itself back within a year or two, which isn't that long. As most of you know, time flies in this hobby. Before you set up a system, you need to buy a system. This is probably the most challenging part of an actual RODI unit. I recommend this 100 gallon per day unit from MalzReef.com. It's perfect for beginners and has online instructions that are extremely useful and easy to follow. The maker, Mark Levinson, is also really easy to contact for help. And the other part I want to say is that an RODI unit is going to cost a lot no matter what. At least $150, and that's if you buy like the minimum of a good one. If you have a tank with hundreds of gallons, you're probably going to be dishing out around $300. Uh, and this is a great investment. It's going to pay off uh, if you buy a quality one over a cheap one. And there is no other way really though for me to recommend a specific unit to you. When buying an RDI unit, it's going to come down to putting in the research for what type of you specifically need. Um, I'm happy to answer questions in the comments um, if like this would be good for this kind of tank. Um, but every RDI unit is going to work completely differently for different types of systems. Now I will talk about the setup and how it all works to make perfect water for reef aquariums. This is a five stage RODI system from Mellows Reef. And you know it's five stages because there's three on the bottom, the one on the top, and then the one to the right. And it makes 100 gallons of water per day. It really should be mounted to a wall right now, but just to explain the whole idea, I'm gonna keep it unmounted. Now it does have really sturdy metal brackets and quick connect fittings which make it really easy to use. The unit comes with a five micron sediment filter, which is the first, the white filter. Then following two 5 micron carbon blocks. Then the water travels up to the 98% rejection rate Puramax membrane that is good for 3 to 5 years. After these four stages, your water is going to be considered RO water and that's going to be around 15 ppm. Finally, the water is going to go through the DI resin which completely takes the water to zero TDS making it full RODI water. You might be wondering what this pressure gauge is doing on my unit. Well, it measures the PSI of the water coming in. It should be between 40 to 50 PSI. If it's lower than 40, you will need something called a booster pump, which will bring the PSI up. It's really simple, guys. There's three colors of tubing. The red one, which is for the water coming into the unit. Then you have the black one, which is for the wastewater that's going down the drain and then the blue one for the good water, clean RODI water. There are multiple ways to get the water coming in, but so far the way I've been doing it is from my hose outside. I put the hose adapter that comes with the unit on the red tubing, 
I take the hose from outside and I basically just connect them. It's that easy. And so that's going to be sending my hose water, which is around 140 TDS into my RODI unit. So that's the hose. It just runs all the way outside. Try to keep the RODI unit away from the window. You don't want any sunlight going onto it or anything like that. Then you take the black line and you basically just put it down to the drain. You lose four gallons of bad water for every one gallon of good water that you make. Okay, so now you take the blue tubing from the first four stages of the great water and you connect it to the DI resin stage, which is the final stage, and then the DI resin has another blue uh, tubing that comes out and that's going to be the zero TDS water, completely pure, and you just put that into your jug or wherever you store your water. So this is how it works in total. The water coming from my hose outside comes in the red, goes through the first, second, third, then up through the RO. Then it goes two ways. The wastewater for the black line goes into the drain or for drinking. And then the blue tubing, that goes to the DI resin. And then that DI resin, it comes out completely clean. And that's it. So don't get caught up by the fancy words and the fancy technology that it looks like. It's really a really easy process and uh, it's going to be worth it when you get your first batch of RODI water and you use your TDS Peter and it comes out zero. I know that was a lot of information to absorb, but if there's one thing you should take away from this video, it's that you need to use RODI water in your reef aquarium. Now buying a unit will be a great investment that I guarantee will pay off, not just financially, but also in the health of your aquarium. I'm George and I hope you enjoyed this Coalfish Trilogy video, the third and last video of this whole process uh, which is actually making the fresh water into salt water is coming. Until then, ask questions. I know I can't possibly cover everything, but you should have a pretty good idea about RODI systems. George, out.